Hello, I'm in Pittsburgh. Uh, that's Pittsburgh, some of Pittsburgh there, some of it there, there. I like that yellow bridge over there, can you see it? Anyway, excited to be here. We had a very uh, long journey last night. It took uh, eight hours on the tour bus after our Toronto show uh, to get to Pittsburgh. I'm excited to be in Pittsburgh because of course Pittsburgh to me is very mythic from being a child who was obsessed uh, with George A. Romero and uh, the zombie movies, even when I didn't get to see them, just seeing the posters was just tremendously exciting. Um, so uh, I'm gonna, probably go to the Warhol Museum and I'm hopefully going to get to the Mattress Factory and uh, I have a um, art manifesto for today and today's art manifesto is reality and utterance on founding reality and utterance and reality and utterance were a South Korea uh, group of artists um, this is uh, from 1980 we harbour great discontent and doubt about all kinds of today's established artistic forms and also continue to wonder in the midst of our own contradictions this self-awareness about reality urges us to return to primal and essential questions such as what meanings art truly carries, what artist responsibilities are, how we should fulfil them. It also presses us to reaffirm our desire to seek new directions. And uh, then it concludes, we seek to form a group with members who wholeheartedly agree with this goal. So, that's today's art manifesto. Uh, go, what is reality? How do we view and feel reality? What does utterance mean? It's, uh, these are big questions on reality. In fact, I have a, a BBC radio show that's probably going to be on in June or July, which is all about uh, reality, a two-parter, which I uh, recorded with my friend Carl, which will be on Radio 4, just that I mentioned that. Uh, also, my uh, Toronto book is this novel, Bellevue Square, uh, which I'm really, really enjoying, and um, recommend uh, a Pittsburgh book to me as well. Hello, uh, I'm in Pittsburgh, an increasing chaos of pyjamas and book bags behind me. Uh, and, uh, oh, by the way, if you want to uh, listen to a new podcast that I've done about all of our journeys currently going on, it's called uh, Taking the Universe Around the World, and you can find it at cosmicshambles.com. So, my bookshop review today, I've had to be so fast, I've managed to be to the Andy Warhol Museum, I've then just kind of been wandering around downtown, looking at weird signs that I can find, and uh, any hints of Romero. I found one hint of Savini, and I'll tell you about that another time, but... Uh, Today's bookshop was uh, this one here, Amazing Books and Records. And I've been t trying to be really careful with how much I buy. It's a very, very nice shop. I had lots of interesting things. I thought this one, the, uh, the book of EST, just because uh, one Luke Reinhardt, that's kind of quite interesting, and also Werner Erthardt. Uh, there's lots of, I was thinking of Rusty Schweikart, I think, kind of uh, the Apollo 9 astronaut, and lots of other people got involved in this movement in the 1970s, you know, sometimes from afar and sometimes deep in it. So uh, I wanted to read that. And then I bought this as well. This is the most expensive bought book that I bought in the last few days. It is the Voice of the Warm, The Life of Rod McEwen. And the reason I bought that is in memory of my mum, because my mum absolutely adored Rod McEwen. McEwen there were loads of books of his poetry around there was his album I think live from Carnegie Hall the soundtrack he did for the Disney movie uh, Scandalous John um, he also worked with Jacques Brel and other things so I thought well I'm just going to find out a little bit more about Rod McEwen because uh, yeah I, th I think he was really important to her and through bad times uh, tremendously helpful and uh, and a kind of compassionate voice for her to turn to Anyway, that's my bookshop review. It was a uh, very enjoyable bookshop and had a wonderful collection of records, including some Billy Bragg you might want.